Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would follow up my mathematical material and resources video and show you all the literacy materials that I have as well as um, things for phonics and spelling and so on. All of these items you can buy on Amazon or a few are from Aliexpress so I shall go through each one and I shall leave all the links down below. So let's have a look. So first up, I have um, these magnetic, num these are actually numbers as well, numbers and letters um, from Wilco. These are plastic, you can buy wooden ones if that's your preference, they can come in a little tub. These have lowercase letters in them, but you can get ones with uppercase as well. And we stick those on the fridge, we stick them on our whiteboard, whatever you like. We also use those for when we do some worksheets and bits and pieces too. So that's always really handy. If you buy one thing, make it the magnetic letters because they are always really, really handy. So let's move on to um, some of the flashcards that I have because flashcards are always really useful for children. Now you can buy alphabet um, flashcards. I simply made my own, um, just so they were black on white, so high definition and clear, and you literally just go through them with your child, ah, b, k, um, just sort of quickly. I think this is quite a good exercise to do every day if you can. Um, anyway, as I said, I made these because I was being really cheap, <laughs> but you can buy them yourself. What I did buy was these from AliExpress actually. So this one has the capital and the small um, and the lowercase letter and it shows you how to write them sort of like which way and then it's just got the letters on the back as well. So that's quite useful. And then I found this one, My Mini Alphabet Flip Book, um, which has all the letters and then it has the plain letters at the back with um, some pictures, so at is for apple, at is for ant, and I think that's really nice, and I think a lot of children um, would really, really enjoy that. And I also have these easy learning flashcards, um, the first words. Now the good thing about these cards is that they have um, the word on the front, so like bed, and then on the back they have it sort of spelt out phonetically and then a picture. So the idea is that if you have a younger child you sort of go bed, and they're using the picture, and then later on they'll just come to recognise the word. I started doing with the, this with my son, um, my almost four year old, and it's surprising how quickly they can pick up certain words. Um, so that's a really good exercise to do. A couple of books I've got. Um, these were literally like $2.99 from Amazon. You can probably find these in TK Maxx as well. Um, I usually like to start with the lowercase letters because I think it's um, less confusing. This is a wipe clean book and they just trace over the letters and you, you don't have to do all of them of course, you just go along as you want to. So you might want to start with ah and then continue. And then I also bought this phonics one. <clears throat> is quite nice so so we started this one say the s sound draw a line from the letter s to each picture that starts with the sound so it just gets them familiarizing the sound and the beginning letters of certain words um, another sort of flashcard thing i printed off these letters um, onto a4 and i laminated them so we've got a b i did the whole alphabet and I literally stick these up on the door each week, so a different letter each week, and I just go, can you tell me what that letter is? Oh, it's ah, so they start recognizing it. But you don't have to stick them on the door, you could literally um, just hold them up, so they're nice, so they're much, obviously much bigger than the little flash cards, that's quite helpful. I just found those on Google, just do a search of um, single alphabet letters and that'll be there. I've also got these alphabet boards that I printed off and laminated. These are from worksheetfun.com, you can find them anywhere. Again, you could use these with, um, your magnetic letters. Over here I have a packet of, these are actually Scrabble letters which I bought off AliExpress. If you don't want to use your big magnetic letters you could use these little ones to make some words or can you find the letter oh and you know put them in a bowl with some shredded paper or something and make it like a game like they have to find the letter or fish it out or something. Lots of possibilities you can do to make these games fun. In here I've got some pegs, simple wooden pegs, they cost me a pound and I've put the letters on them. So the lowercase on one side and the uppercase on the other side and we do some activities with that whereby they peg the letter onto um, the letters of the word and all kinds of things you can do with that and I put it in a little pretty box. These I love, right, so these are sandpaper letters. 
Um, they use these in a Montessori um, environment. These are Montessori letters. The idea is that the child can feel the letters. They also do these for numbers, but I just bought the letters. This is quite expensive. I mean, it's very well made, and you've obviously got all the alphabet twice um, in capitals and lowercase. I think it's around 30 odd pounds on Amazon. Again, I bought this from AliExpress for I think about 20 pounds, so saving myself a tenner. Also, you can buy lots of letter board games. So I've got a lot of Melissa and Doug um, spelling puzzles and things, but I'll probably show you those in a completely different video, but they are obviously really good as well. Now, last but not least is this. This is the Magnatab, A to Z. You can also um, get this in numbers and you can also get it in capital letters. And what you do, it comes with a little magnetic pen, and what you do is the child traces around the letter and the magnets pop up. Now, my two-year-old really loves doing this, but he doesn't do, obviously, the letter the correct way round. Oops. He just likes to kind of pick up the dots but it is familiarising them with the letters. This, I think, was £25. Um, again, it's, it's very well made. I really like it. The only thing is, if you lose the pen, then you're a bit stuck. I don't know, you'd have to get a magnet or something to pick up the um, little balls. But as I said, they do this in capitals. They also do it in numbers. Um, and you also can get wooden boards with the letters engraved in and you get a little wooden stick or wooden pencil and they follow the letter round again but I thought this was more fun. So there you go guys that was most of my literacy and alphabet uh, materials, tools and resources that we use when we're doing uh, any kind of letter work. My children are almost four, two and uh, seven months so as your children get older obviously you can get the older books, um, they, they probably won't be using this obviously if they're reading, but Scrabble letters are always useful, these are always useful, and flashcards can be passed down to others. Um, so yeah, so that's all my stuff. I really hope this video was useful. Please do subscribe if you like what you see and hit the like button and the notification bell and all that jazz, and I shall see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!